Hi everyone, it's Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluators. This tutorial is about the IF formula. You can do a lot of different things with the IF formula. For example, cleaning and recoding your variables. So let's take a look at some survey data. Pretend as part of your evaluation that you surveyed organizations across the United States. And let's pretend that you asked them how many employees they had. 1 to 3, 4 to 9, 10 to 19, etc. But sometimes when you're analyzing your data, you want to look for overall patterns. You're not interested in all those seven response options, so you need to recode your variables so that you only use small, medium, or large organizations to look for patterns. Here's my actual data and I'm going to recode them using the IF formula. So type in equals IF and Excel uh, wants you to fill in three pieces of information. Logical test, value if true, and value if false. Logical test means that you need to put in the equal sign again or the greater than or less than symbol and here's what it looks like. So if this cell right here is equal to 1 to 3, so put in quotation marks and then just type in 1-3 and close your quotation marks. Put in a comma to go to the next part of the formula so you can see now this part is bold. So if this cell is 1 to 3, then we're going to call that a small organization. So you have to type in small and put quotation marks around it. Put another comma to move to the third part of the equation. And if it's not true, if it's, if it's a false uh, statement, then just put, uh, let's just leave it blank. So we'll put two quotation marks but with nothing inside to leave it blank. Perfect, so this is one to three employees and what size is it? That's a small organization. Let's drag it down and see what happens. So everyone that said uh, one to three here now says small in column C and the rest are blank. So that's one example of the if formula. Thank you.